Okay, it's a royal pain in the butt to change inputs when you go from playing your PS3 on HDMI, which is ideal, to needing to record it on component, because that's the only way to do it since it's protected running out of HDMI. So here we've got the Media Express running, which is the software interface to the Blackmagic uh, Intensity Pro in this situation, which has an HDMI in and HDMI out, and it connects via Thunderbolt to the iMac here. Uh, but it's also got a breakout cable, which allows you to take in the component video um, using the, uh, a, a semi-identical breakout cable on the back of your PS3. So that is how we're getting it in here. But the trick becomes, how do you then switch so that you can see this on the Media Express and get the PS3 to uh, take the changes? Because as soon as you change your display settings, you lose the ability to see your screen. So as we're looking at it now, we've got the TV screen showing the HDMI output from the PS3. And as we switch over here to the iMac, we're going to go up here to um, uh, System Settings. We'll go to System Preferences on the Mac. And we're going to make sure that as we click here on the Blackmagic uh, Pro icon, that we've got the input set to Component Video. So we're coming in via Component, not HDMI on this one, because it will not work on HDMI since it's encrypted. So we're good to go there. We'll cross that out. And then we're going to go over here to the Media Express. And for this one, we've got to go to Preferences. And then come up here to NTSC, a generic NTSC setting. It does not take until you uh, cross it out there. So now we're on NTSC so that we can see the screen when we make the switch from HDMI over to component. So as we look back at the TV screen, uh, here we want to go to display, or excuse me, video output settings. And on there, we're on HDMI now. We're going to go to component. Now we select component and it says it's going to blank out for 30 seconds. That's because it's now going to be sending that video signal instead of the HDMI. It's coming out the component. So we'll hit change. We've got 30 seconds. Now if you look back at the Media Express via that NTSC input, we can see that we got the countdown at 25 seconds and it's saying, can you see this? Yes, we want to accept this setting. So we're going to go over to yes, select that. And here you have to go up and select 720p and then arrow to the right. That's the only one you're going to want to take. Okay, now it goes black again on the Media Express because we have to go back up real quickly because the countdown's happening into Preferences. We're going to go from NTSC down to HD 720p 59.94. Hit the X to cross it out. Now we can see it. We've got 15 seconds left to select Yes with our PS3 controller. We're good to go there. So now we're seeing the screen. We've locked it in. The PS3 knows how we're doing it. So it's not going to revert back to the HDMI after it times out. So we'll take Settings. Say Yes. We're going to enter on that. We're also going to make sure that audio output is coming out analog, not HDMI or anything else anymore, because we're also coming in just left and right channel into the Blackmagic Intensity Pro. So audio output settings, and in this case, are already on the audio input connector for the uh, their dual channel. So that's good. So we'll select that. We're confirming our settings. Hit X, and we are good to go. We're now able to record, as you can see. Uh, on the Blackmagic Intensity Pro via Media Express. All I've got to do now is under Log and Capture, assuming this were rolling, I would just come down here, hit Capture, and bam, we are capturing to disk at a mighty high rate of data, I might add, too. So that's going to fill up a hard drive really, really fast, but you're going to be blown away by the quality. Hope that helps.